Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. In this lecture, we will start a new topic, operator. Operator is very important topic to understand because using operator, you can solve many problems and you can create amazing things. In the previous video, we learned what is expression is all about. Now in this lecture, we will take a look at operators. We mostly use operator to specify our expressions because using operators, you can compare two values, you can add multiply, divide, and do so many things. Now, the question is, what is operator? In simple words, operator is just the expression result in a value. Operator take one or more operand to produce a result. For example, in this example, I will say one plus two. Now here, one and two is operand and plus sign is operator. In programming language, you often see operand called argument. So we will start our operators from the basic mathematics. So we will discuss arithmetic operator first. As long as I know, you feel comfortable with arithmetic operator because you learned most of them in the school. Now let's take a look at the arithmetic operators. So first, plus. Plus is used for addition and also for concatenation. For example, 3 plus 2, now the result would be 5. This operator evaluate value right to left. Second, subtraction. Use for subtract values. For example, 3 minus 2, the result would be 1. This operator evaluate value right to left. Next, division. Division used to divide two values. For example, 3 divided by 2. The result would be 1.5. This operator evaluate value left to right. Then the next one is multiplication. Multiplication used to multiply two values. For example, 3 multiply by 2. The result would be 6. This operator evaluate value left to right. Next, reminder. Reminder returns reminder after division. For example, 10 reminder 3 is equal to 1. 10 reminder 3, the result would be 1. So 3 goes into 10 3 times and with one left over. This operator evaluate value left to right. Next, unary negation. For example, it is negative y. It means if y is equal to 10, then minus y will be minus 10. This operator evaluate value right to left. Next, unary plus. It is plus y. It means if y is equal to minus 10, then plus y will be 10. This operator evaluate value right to left. Next, pre increment. Pre increment used to increment value by 1 and evaluate to a new value. So, this operator evaluate value right to left. Then we have post increment also. So post increment used to increment value by 1 but evaluate the value of y before the increment. Right? So this operator evaluate value right to left. I will explain pre and post increment after a few minutes. Then we have pre decrement operator also. We use pre decrement operator to decrease value by 1 and evaluate to a new value. So this operator evaluate value right to left. Post decrement. Post decrement used to decrease value by 1 and evaluate the value of y before the decrement. So this operator evaluate value right to left. So this is arithmetic operators. Now let's take an example of pre and post increment. 
if I declare two variables here, let j, comma, x is equal to 5. Then I just wanted to specify pre-increment operator. So I'll just say j is equal to plus plus x. So I will specify pre-increment operator and just print the j value on the console. So when you execute this statement, then what will be the result? The result will be 6 because when JavaScript assign value to the j variable, it will first increase the value of x variable by 1 and then specify to the j variable. So you will get 6 on the console. What if I specify post increment here? So I will just specify post increment here. So what is the result now? So the result will be 5. When you execute this statement, JavaScript will specify value x to the variable j and then print on the console. If I just specify this statement again, so I will just say j is equal to x plus plus, then the result would be different. When you execute this statement again, you will get 6 on the console. So JavaScript will increase the value of the x variable by 1 and specify to the j variable and you will get 6 on the console. The same method apply to the decrement operator also, right? That's it. Now our arithmetic operator is completed. In the next tutorial, we will move forward and learn more operators. That is all for now. We will see you in the next tutorial.